Well, we're here back at weigh-in. It's session two. Um, it was actually a pretty fun morning. We've been catching a bunch of fish. There's a bunch of like keepers in this lake right now that are biting. And I'm all three of us all have one fish and they're all just like two and a half, maybe three pounds. So it's actually been a fun morning, caught a whole bunch and excited to get back out there. Welcome back to day two coverage of the Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley on Kentucky Lake. We return now to Paris Landing State Park for weigh-in of session two presented by Bob's Machine Shop. Brant from Drury. Needs to go 284 to get you up. Let's just take the lead of the whole session. 491. Brant from Drury University. Pull that one out. Hold it up for the camera. I'll take the bag from you. Beautiful fish right there. Current leader, session two, presented by Bob's Machine Shop. Stay right here, man. I'm going to talk to you. We're going to put water on this fish. Hold tight. All right, first things first, what Berkeley bait did you catch that one on? I caught that on a 10-inch worm. Caught it on a 10-inch worm. I'm pretty sure if you might have read my article, I don't know. I wrote it on the website, collegiatebasschampionship.com. We talked about those types of baits out here, those ledges, the brush piles and stuff being good options to throw. Obviously worked for you. When you're fishing a big bass tournament like this, do you decide to use larger baits? If the conditions were tougher, would you downsize to try and get bites? How, how do you strategize the size of the bait you're using to catch a big fish? So in years past when I fished here, I've caught them on a big worm. Yesterday I threw it all day long and I just couldn't get a bite on it. But today they're on it. And I called a good one out that I wish I didn't have to call, but that's the rules. Tristan, also from SIU Edwardsville. We need 308 to get you in. New leader, session two, presented by Bob's Machine Shop. Tristan from SIU Edwardsville. That one goes 519, pull it out. I'll take the bag from you. Hold it up for Kevin right there to get you a picture and then hang tight, we'll talk to you. Beautiful fish. I think that might be the first one today over five pounds. Take that ticket so I don't get it right. Hold tight. All right, first things first, Berkeley bait, what'd you catch it on? Uh, we actually had the trigger craw, the four inch trigger craw and green pumpkin on the back of a jig. Um, and we caught it off a ledge. We just happened to run down the lake. We were fishing some shallow docks earlier this morning and it didn't really pan out. Um, we never found the right quality fish in the docks. But yesterday, uh, tr the other Tristan ended up catching that 413 and, second, and got second place in session two. So um, we just ran down the lake, started fishing a ledge and second cast, we ended up catching that big one. So we ran back up here, so. Here's a look at the top 10 for session two presented by Bob's Machine Shop. Tristan from SIU Edwardsville holds on for the session win with 5.19 pounds. For the session victory, Tristan receives a 10 inch Bob's Machine Shop jack plate, a Bob's Machine Shop gear package, along with the $300 Bass Pro Shops gift card. 